Hey, good morning everyone. Wednesday morning, the 28th of April, 2021. I trust that you had a very blessed weekend and a lovely public holiday, Freedom Day, yesterday. This morning's devotional is a reading from Psalm 139, reading verses 13 and 14, which read, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. We are becoming more open about the depression and anxiety that people of all walks of life and age experience. Sometimes these feelings are situational and sometimes they are the result of a physical or chemical imbalance. But anxiety and depression can also come from an, from an internal voice telling you that you can never be good enough. If you're constantly thinking that you're fundamentally and hopelessly flawed, that is so depressing. Some of us actually believe that the Bible pretty much affirms these ideas, and that's why we need Jesus. But the Bible does acknowledge and address the depravity of human nature. The emphasis of the gospel, however, has always been the goodness of God rather than the sin of humans. Jesus died not because you are feeling so terrible or because even you are so terrible, but rather he died because you are so loved by God. Our sin separates us from the relationship with God, but God's love and plan for us addresses this reality. Our worth and our acceptance by God is not dependent on our good behavior. Rather, it is dependent on our willingness to admit our sin and to ask for forgiveness in Jesus' name. It's a gracious and freely offered gift. You are never beyond the grace of God. My dear friends, each and every one of us was formed in God's own image. Genesis chapter 1 Verse 27 testifies us. So your first identity is as an image bearer of God. God's plan has always been to call us his beloved, to return to him, not to create best behaved people. So if you're feeling anxious or depressed over your failures, rather cast them at the foot of God, run to Jesus for comfort and grace. On a side note, the surgery procedure on Monday went very well. Um, I went to hospital on Monday, had the surgery, was discharged the same day, for which I give thanks for. And the surgeon is very, very happy with the progress. There appears to be no more cancer within the bladder. However, we are now in the preventative treatment mode. So once again, thank you for all your prayers. We really do appreciate them. And once again, to God be the glory, because it is only through His grace and His mercy that this is possible. May the Lord be with you, may He bless you, may He cause His face to shine upon you, and be with you always. Goodbye.